I'll just take a moment to wax poetic about this very pretty bird. This is the cedar waxwing, a very common bird that will be seen mobbing berry trees in large flocks. Flocking is indeed part of the cedar waxwing's core identity. It's one of the things they're known for is they're extremely social birds that will forage in very dense flocks for both safety and food acquisition. As might be expected from them constantly being found around berry trees, cedar waxwings forage mostly on berries. They're almost entirely frugivorous and can survive on a diet composed of nothing but fruit for over two months without any appreciable loss in condition. This is reflected in their biochemistry. Waxwings have very high concentrations of digestive proteins for isolating and breaking down sugars. They also have extremely robust digestive systems for breaking down even hard-to-reach ones. They're one of only a couple species in North America that are capable of digesting juniper berries, which are very tough and very waxy. But because of their habit of eating berries, they're also very important ecologically. Waxwings are very important seed dispersers of those berry trees. Those berries, and consequently the seeds, are swallowed whole by the waxwings and emerge unscathed out the other side of their digestive system, at which point the bird may be 5, 10, 15 kilometers distant, allowing that seed to be dispersed much further than it would have been by gravity alone. To return a bit to their extreme level of sociality, waxwings have a very unusually high amount of it. In fact, their flocking instinct in some cases actually supersedes their nesting instinct. They're one of only a few birds that will continue to forage together in flocks, even during the breeding season when most birds are solitary and territorial. These birds are overall doing fine, but there's still reason to try and give them some help, if for no other reason than because they are very pretty and very welcome visitors. One of the best ways to do that is through local habitat enhancement, either through planting berry trees and bushes, or by planting other wildflowers and plants that attract the insects that they also depend on.